guys, Tarkon here, back with another video. How's everyone doing out there? I'm doing pretty good. I got back in last night uh, from Germany. I'm back in the States now, as you can see. My box is different. It's a different box now. Um, I'm pretty, pretty jet lagged, guys. I'll be honest with you. I wanted to do another video, uh, but I'm pretty out of it. So if I'm not babbling or, you know, I look pretty tired, which I know I do right now. Uh, my eyes are all small and beady. Um, you know, bear with me, please. Um, my body thinks it's about, uh, it thinks it's about three in the morning right now or something like that. Um, although it's, no, what is it like? Three in the afternoon right now here on the west coast of the United States. So look at that, I'm babbling already. <laughs> I'm barely, barely coherent. Um, so, but I want, I'm gonna power through this because I wanted to talk about something important, okay? Uh, and it's something that we touched upon in our conversation with Agnes and Dan Radio Style. Um, actually, Dan and I touched upon it briefly and it's this thing that I hear from a lot of you guys out there when it comes to manifesting your specific person or your ex back, you have this sort of insistence that it come to you a certain way, all right? Now, I think you know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about the kind of thing where a lot of you say to me, Tarkon, I want him back, I want her back, I want to get a text message though. I don't wanna be the first one to text message them. They have to be the first one to do it, or it has to be this way, or it has to be that way. Now, I want to say something very important about that, and, and before I continue, I want to give you this little footnote this caveat. It doesn't mean what I'm about to say doesn't mean that it won't come to you specifically in the way that you want it to come to you, but you have to release the process. You have to let go of that part of it, and you have to release your insistence that it come to you a specific certain way. Because I'll tell you right now, all you're doing with that is you're prolonging the outcome that you desire, okay? Um, and because you're making it into a battle, all right? If you're saying things like, I need him to text me first, I need her to text me first, I won't do it first, That's this is an ego-based battle kind of mindset, all right? You're engaging in a battle before the thing is even really able to come to fruition for you, all right? And chances are, maybe you made the previous relationship with them, if this is an ex we're talking about, you made the previous relationship with them a battle, and you're carrying or continuing that battle into the next relationship, okay? And you don't wanna do that, all right? End of video, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> no, there's a little bit more to be said about it than that. But you don't wanna do that, because what you're doing is, A, you're perpetuating the old relationship, which didn't work. Okay, and, and furthermore, that relationship is gone. So you have to come to terms with the fact that what you're doing now is you're manifesting a brand new relationship with this person. So how do you want that relationship to be? Do you want to bring in all the dysfunctional elements of the previous relationship? Well, if you do, then go ahead and, and hold on to your anger and your disappointment from that previous one. Um, hold on to your ego, okay? Insist that it only come about a certain way. Well, if they don't text me first, then I don't, I'm not going to be the first one to, to, to you know, uh, to blink. Basically, it's like you're at a standoff, you know, that like in those Westerns, you're at the, at the, you're on that dusty road and you're facing each other at sunset and you're both got your, your finger like right about here, your trigger fingers. Who's going to draw first? Who's going to blink first, right? So what are you doing when you're doing that? What are you perpetuating when you're doing that? What's the mindset behind that? It's a mindset of ego and a battle of egos and a battle of wills. In short, a battle. You're making it into a war already, okay? And what you're gonna get back is more battle. You're gonna get battle-like, war-like conditions, all right? Because that's where your mind is at. That's where your focus is at. That's where your perception is at, your perspective is at, is that you're already anticipating things to be difficult. So you're gonna insist that they be even more difficult, all right? So you wanna allow the process to take care of itself, to unfold on its own, because that part is not your job. And I keep saying that over and over again, you have to release that part of your ego, all right? There's, there's the part that your job, the only part that you need to do is focus on what you want. Decide what you want, first of all. Decide exactly what it is you want, then focus on that outcome. And what that comes down to, of course, is the way you want to feel. And do you wanna feel loved and adored? Do you want this to be easy? 
right? Do you want a feeling of ease in this new relationship that you're manifesting with this person? <clears throat> if you do, then you gotta be easy. You have to be the thing that you want, okay? If you want love, then you gotta be love. You have to be giving of love and you have to be unconditional in your giving of love. Now, is saying to them, well, I'm, you're not gonna hear from me until I hear from you first. Is that, going, is that being easy? Is that being unconditional? Is that letting go of your ego? Is that allowing the process to unfold in any way that it needs to to get you what you want? Because ultimately, what is it that you want? Do you want the relationship with them? Do you want the ease of that relationship? Or do you want it to be difficult? Do you want it to be a battle? Do you want that battle of the wills? Do you want that battle of the egos? Do you want to, do you want to satisfy your ego in the end? Well, that's a good way to do it to satisfy your ego, but ultimately it's not gonna get you anywhere near what you, a lot of you claim you want, which is a relationship, a loving, easy, prosperous, functioning relationship with this person. So you have to start from that point. It has to be about how you are willing to change yourself on the inside too, okay? How you're willing to change the way that you approach things, that you have approached things. And I, tr I touched on this a little bit in the last video when I said, when you react differently to the similar situation that keeps reoccurring in your life that you keep manifesting over and over again, because that's what's happening, when you react differently the next time to it, it may happen one more time. But the thing is, at that moment, you will have shifted. You will have shifted. And as a result, that outer manifestation, that outer uh, physical 3D reality is going to shift in accordance with the way you've shifted on the inside. So you need to be able and willing to say, you know what, if I need to text them first, and if it feels right for me to do so, see my previous, previous video, no, previous, previous, previous video, I think, I have to check on that, um, about when to act and not to act, okay, watch that one, so you know what to look for in terms of when you're being given the guidance to do something, to take an action towards your desire. And if you're being guided in that sense to text them first, to be the first one to blink, to put your ego aside and just send them a, hey, what's up? And if it feels right to do that, like I said, watch that other video and I'll link to it below in the uh, comment section, I think I will. And um, if you are being guided to do that and it feels easy to do it and it feels natural to do it and you're not doing it out of desperation, but you're holding back, all right? This is the flip coin. So if you're feeling guided to do, to do something, to contact them first, uh, just to say hey or whatever, or even to ask them out or something like that, to see how they're doing. If you're being guided in the, in the way that I explained in that other video, which is that you feel it feels right to do, it feels like the natural next thing to do, um, there's no real question in your mind about whether to do it or not, but you are hesitating or you're choosing to hesitate because you're going, no, no, I want them to text me first, okay? So now what you're doing is you're putting obstacles in your own way. Okay, and, um, and don't be surprised if the result that you get, if you're approaching the situation from a battle ego mindset, if the result you're gonna get and the way that they're going to bounce and reflect back onto you is going to be um, an extension of that, a projection of that mindset that you're adopting. You're gonna get more battle and, and battle of the wills and ego kind of based stuff, okay? Instead of being unconditional about you, about the relationship and about how you're giving love to them and how you're sending love to them. If you're holding on to any kind of resentment from the past relationship, you need to resolve that, okay? You need to resolve that in yourself. You need to come to terms with it and you need to put it to bed because you're not gonna move forward into anything uh, even remotely functional or enjoyable or desirable with that kind of attitude still riding on your back, okay? Um, that's your monkey mind trying to interfere with the process. And I've said this so many times, you need to stop with the monkey mind. You need to tell it to shut up and sit down, okay? It's done its job. It's decided and understood and filtered the experiences to, in order to figure out what it is that you want. That's its job, okay? The rest of it is up to your inner being. And you, and you allow your inner being to bring it to you to rearrange your reality in such a way to bring you the right people that are going to you know, put you in the right place at the right time in touch with the right people that are going to keep, uh, they're going to do the next thing that needs to be done to get you closer to what you need. That's the process unfolding. That's the natural bridge of events that's going to shift you into the next reality, into that other reality that you want to be in where the two of you are together again. And whatever happens to get you there, you need to just let it happen.
okay? You need to, and, and I know it's difficult too sometimes when things seem to be moving backwards or there doesn't seem to be any movement at all, and I've mentioned that in the other video as well. You need to be okay with that as well. Just because you're not seeing uh, anything happening with your five senses or your physical senses, any of your physical senses, however many there are, Right now, I'm operating on two, I think, barely. Um, <clears throat> I can barely see. I can hear pretty well. Uh, <laughs> um, but my point is, if you're just because you're not perceiving anything with your physical senses doesn't mean nothing's happening behind the, behind the uh, curtain, so to speak, behind the scenes, okay? That things are being rearranged for you, for you outside of your, your perception, okay? So just because you're not seeing something happen, you think nothing's happening or because something appears to be moving backwards, you think something's gone wrong, or you know I'm moving backwards, this thing is unraveling rather than moving forwards, what's happening, now I must interfere, I must do something, I must take action because it's all falling apart. But you don't know that that thing that seems to you like it's unraveling might be the very next thing that needs to happen on the path to get you to where you wanna be. That's why it's so important to not question the process and not interfere with the process, okay? All you need to do is become the thing that you wanna be. Now, if you want a loving, easy relationship and you want the two of you to, to be giving towards one another, then you need to start by being giving, by being unconditional in the way you give love. Because remember, and I said this first and foremost, relationships are invitational, love is invitational. Okay, you don't insist upon the person changing, you have to make the shift inside yourself. But further than that, you're in a relationship to give to one another. Okay, now Tarkon, but I want to receive too. Well, that, of course, if you're both in it to give and you're both giving unconditionally to one another, then by default, you're both receiving. Okay, and that's what a relationship is about. And if you don't want to be a part of that process, then why be in a relationship at all? Okay, why be emotionally involved with anyone at all? All right, so you need to understand that you're in it to give. So if, if that's what, you know, and if you just embrace that idea and you just live according to that idea, then it's easy, it becomes easy to give things to them, to give unconditionally, to even just send love, send love beams to them, okay, with your, uh, your blood brain, your blood brain, your, your, squirt, your heart, <laughs> your heart brain. I was trying to be clever there and it's just, why, why am I even trying to be clever today? See, that's me interfering, interfering with my own process right now, okay? <laughs> that's my monkey brain going, you need to be clever right now. And, uh, you know, my inner being is going, like, don't even try. You're tired, you're jet lagged, you're in a different time zone than what you've been in for two months. So why are you even trying? All right. Okay. Calm down, Tarkon. So... The point I'm trying to make is you got to stop with the battling. You got to stop approaching the situation like it's a battle. And especially you got to start putting your ego down. Okay. This process, especially manifesting uh, a specific person into your life is going to, is going to require sometimes for you to really be disciplined in the way that you approach this other person and in the way, and then the things that you focus on in terms of what is your ego being riled up by. Okay, so this kind of stuff with, with I need them to text me first and it can only happen that way, you know what, it's fine. It's, and I'm not saying, like I said before, that it won't happen the way that, exactly the way that you want it to happen. But ask yourself, why do you need it to happen that way? If you need it to happen that way, if you insist upon it happening that way, then what you're doing is you're, you're kind of putting the energy out there and the focus out there and the signal out there, you're beaming the signal out there saying, I don't really think that this is possible all right, to happen in the way that I want it to happen. So I insist, I don't think it's possible for me to manifest this thing easily, in other words, so I'm gonna insist that it happen this way because I need to interfere with the process because I need to micromanage every step of the way. And that's what's really going on there. That's your ego, your monkey mind ego going, I need to take charge of this, I need to micromanage. You're like that CEO that's telling all the employees exactly how to do their job, but hey, you hired them to begin with, right? And you probably hired them so that because you knew they were capable of doing their job on their own that they're responsible capable people so you don't want to micromanage you want to delegate right so which kind of manager do you want to be because you're putting your faith and your trust in your inner being in the universe and in the process of how this works you're putting it into this law your trust in this law of attraction process but if you're saying I need to micromanage every step of the way what you're really signaling is that you don't really have any trust in that process at all that you want to continue to do things the way you've always done them, which was the difficult way, 
which never really got you any good results. Or if it did get you good, resu good results, they didn't last very long. And here you are in a situation where you manifested somebody and then suddenly you had a breakup and all this mess and now you want to get them back. Well, how'd you get there in the first place? And I'll be willing to bet for most of you, as it was, has been for me in the past, it was ego-based bullshit that interfered, that you allowed to interfere, okay? So you need to really trust the process and allow it to unfold in exactly the way and the timing that it needs to. That's another thing. So many of you want it now. I want it now, 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 now. Well, what if you get it now and it's way before it's ripe? It's like picking that apple when it's still sour. Now, some people like that, I guess. I'm not really one of them. I like my apples ripe and sweet and juicy, okay? When I bite into it, I don't want to get a shock, all right? But that's pretty much what you're insisting upon. You're like, give me that unripe fruit right now to bite into, and you bite into it, and you're going to hate it. It's going to taste awful, and you're going to get a bellyache, okay? And then your inner being is going to go, I told you why, why you insisted uh, on having it now. Well, here you go. Well, how, how do you like that? How do you like them apples, all right? It, you want it before it's ready. It's like putting a cake in the oven. Five minutes later, you take it out. Or you're constantly opening the oven door to check on it. It's never going to bake. It's never going to be done. Okay, you're going to have like a raw cake or one of those where it's just raw in the middle. All right, and it's going to be disgusting. So stop insisting on things being a certain way. All right? Now, you can, you can say and you can request and it can be your... It can be your intention that things be a certain way. Yes, you can manifest an ex a message from them and a text message and all that kind of stuff. But again, ask yourself why you want that. Why are you doing that? Do you just want the text message? You just want to see if it works and it'd be cool if it did. And look, ooh, it worked. That's awesome. Is it like that? Or is it because you, th you don't trust the process and you think that manifesting every single text message along the way towards getting back together with them is necessary for you to do because the process won't take care of itself because you don't really trust that if you just put out your intention and your vision out there and you just become clear about it and then you feel the way that you think you're going to feel when you're in that situation, and you feel that way as consistently and as often as possible, that it will come about on its own and in the perfect way, the perfect way that you can't even imagine, okay? You can't even imagine the way that something can come into your life. The way the universe can present you with things and with your manifestation, it has infinite, infinite avenues there and it knows infinite avenues to get you to where you want to be, all right? You and your monkey mind only know like three Okay, maybe two ways. All right, so if you're only going to focus on that one, two, three ways that your monkey mind knows to get there, well, good luck. You're going to have a rough ride of it. But if you want the ride to be easier, you need to step aside and let the universe, let the inner being, let that do what it does best, which is to get you the thing with the least amount of resistance. All right? Or what is it that Abraham Hicks always says? It's the. Uh, uh, path of least resistance. That's what it is. Okay. And what's the path of least resistance? I mean, it really, it, it's what it sounds like. Okay. You want to get the hell out of it, out of the way of the thing, because you interfering and micromanaging is resistance. It's introducing resistance into the process. You keep putting your finger in the batter. You keep putting your open in the, checking on the cake. All right. And you're wondering, why isn't it finishing? Why isn't it baked yet? And then you complain about it and you wonder what went wrong. Well, it's you interfering, quite frankly, okay? So I didn't mean for that to sound as harsh as it did. Um, like I said, I'm tired and jet lagged and sometimes I get cranky when I'm tired. But uh, I felt it was an important message to bring you guys, even though it's a shorter video than usual. I'm approaching 20 minutes and I can keep babbling, but I've really just pretty much said everything that I'm going to say about this or that needs to be said about it. I mean, the real message, the basic message of this video is just stop interfering. Stop insisting on the way that it's something's going to come on it to you. Come on. <laughs> no. The way that something's going to come to you, all right? Um, because, again, you don't know all the ways. So why would you limit yourself in that way, right? Why would you limit yourself by saying, I insist that it only happened this way, all right? They got to say, I'm sorry first. They got to do this first. They got to do that first. Well, first they got to change. First they got to yada, 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 okay? Well, that's not being unconditional, all right? And that's doing battle. Stop doing battle and you'll stop receiving battle and battle-like conditions, all right? So giving unconditionally means unconditionally. I know that's difficult. 
It's difficult for me too, trust me, and it's been difficult for me. But the, the way you get around it is you start practicing unconditional love for yourself. Because when you do that and you practice that for your, on yourself, giving yourself that kind of love, it, it's actually easier than you think it is. But you practice it, practice it, practice it every day. Giving yourself unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, self-forgiveness, unconditional self-acceptance, all right? When you're able to give it to yourself first and foremost, then it'll be virtually no effort at all to give it to other people, all right? So th I hope that all that made sense despite my, despite my being jet lagged and really pretty out of it because I probably am gonna go take a nap right now um, or have a cup of coffee. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Um, and uh, as usual, thank all you guys for your donations that have been coming in. Um, if you want to give me a donation, you can see the two links for one for the Cash App and one for uh, PayPal down in the description box. Um, if you want coaching, that link is down there as well. There's a link to the Facebook group if you want to join. There's some great people over there. Um, and other than that, um, I will talk to you in the next video when hopefully I'm rested and uh, you know I have settled once again in this current dimension that I find myself in. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Uh, until next time, happy manifesting. Bye-bye.